I'm Dana. I'm the CEO of Terminator. I'm here in our South Carolina demo facility, and today I want to take you through the belt dryer, uh, which is a new product we added as part of our hemp processing line. I also want to talk a little bit about some of the pre-processing equipment, such as our Shredmaster, which helps improve efficiencies for the whole process. So uh, I'm here at the front of the belt dryer. This is the in-feed belt. Um, so basically your material is uh, placed here, and then it's distributed by, this is a distributing paddle. So essentially all the material ends up in a nice smooth carpet-like state up there. Uh, it's about anywhere from a half an inch to an inch, um, and the height of the paddle is adjustable. So the material will move up the belt. Um, all the touch points are stainless steel, everything is food grade. Uh, the belt is stainless, and like I said, everything that it touches would be food grade or stainless steel. Um, so it goes up into the belt dryer. It's going to spend anywhere from two to four hours uh, in the belt dryer. There's four layers to the belt dryer, so it's going to enter on the top, move to the next layer, move to the next layer, move to the next layer, and then exit out of the front of the box dryer. Uh, it'll take uh, input moisture of anywhere from 85% uh, and take it down to 10 to 13%. So this is our Shredmaster 10. Um, this is the pre-processing equipment that we found to be helpful in homogenizing the input material. So with any agricultural process or production process, you wanna have consistent inputs to get consistent outputs. So basically you can put your raw materials into the top of the shredder uh, it's going to shred it to any like five sixteenths or a quarter inch on the output, and that's the input material that we put into the belt dryer. So we're here at the back of the unit. Uh, I'm going to explain the airflow system. So basically, the cool air uh, enters through uh, the top of the unit here. It basically moves down through uh, the ductwork, uh, and then it moves into basically what's a heat exchanger. We have the oil on burner here. So this is a UL listed burner. Uh, all the components on the machine are UL listed, and so basically the burner uh, is what heats the whole unit. The air moves through this heat exchanger into the bottom of the unit, uh, and then it's going to move, the heat is going to move up through the four layers of belt and through the ductwork. It's going to be recycled through the system. The moist air is going to be evacuated through a dehumidification fan. The remaining air comes back through the system, so you're going to see about an 80% recirculation rate. So I'm at the control uh, module of the unit. Everything on the bell dryer can be controlled from here. All the components are either Siemens or Schneider, and you can see you can control the circulation fan, dehumidification fan, transportation, the belt speed, material infeed, and material off feed. Um, so any issues that the any faults or any issues within the unit can all be identified here as well Thanks so much for taking the time to walk around the belt dryer with me today If you have any questions about hemp drying or hemp processing feel free to reach out to me or anyone on our team at any time